Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing For Eons Past by the band Solution 45. Uh, Solution 45 is basically a progressive melodic death metal band. They're uh, catchy as fuck and, you know, probably have like the best metal singer of all time, uh, Christian Alvestem. He's um, from the band previously uh, known as Scar Symmetry, but uh, they broke up a long time ago. Um, this right here is Solution 45's uh, first album. They have um, two more albums out now, but I figured I'd start with this one. Um, yeah, but basically, like I said before, they're a progressive melodic death metal band. Um, really catchy. Uh, the singer of Dark Tranquility, uh, Michael Stain, did the lyrics on this one. And this album, like, it was in production for a long time. They actually had demos that were online that you could listen to, samples. And they had different uh, lyrics in them, but the, the singer wanted to do something a little different, so he actually got, I don't know if he hired or had, you know, e either way, the, the singer, of the vocalist from Dark Tranquility wrote the lyrics uh, for this album. Um... That I just listen, listen, a lot of people listen to the demo and they fell in love with the way just the demo sounded. And when they changed the lyrics on this, when it came out, it took some while to to get used to the new the new lyrics. But no biggie. But yeah, the singer he's he's really good. He could be like on American Idol, probably the best singer in metal. He's definitely like in the top three. Um, check out his other bands. He's got like ten of them. Um, let's get into some of the album art. This is it right here. Looks like some basically like an old like mystical tree with some I don't know like some earthly Earthly power coming up out of the roots. That's pretty much kind of how the album art looks inside. Little snippets of that. That's the band. That's the singer. There's the drummer. He's in another band with this cat. Um, they're called Miseration. They're just like kind of like catchy ass technical death metal. They sound kind of like some of the old American ones. Um, he's also I think playing for Winter Sun right now. So yeah, the fool gets down. Uh, this is um, right here. This is the uh, one of the, the main songwriters. Uh, it's a uh, Yanni. Uh, Stefanovic, I think is his name, and uh, this right here is the um, that right here is the uh, the other guitar player. Um, I think his name is uh, Tom uh, Gardner, and this right here is the bass player. I don't think he's with them anymore. I think that's Anders Edlund. Yeah, that's pretty much the band. Um, they don't play too many shows, um, but they they can get down and play like everything live if they if they wanted to. But yeah, that's it. Um, this we'll get into the first track off the album. Uh, the first one is um, the Closed Beyond. This one it starts with a um it's like a real catchy lead into this like groove and then it leads into some like heavy ripping and the double bass just kind of drops in like in and out of the song like fast the the the, the drummer gets down he's really really technical he's, he's sick he's probably one of my favorite drummers um it has like a lot of like dope digent, uh, breakdowns in the song and just like verses like with the gent genres this 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 band is kind of like the Pink Floyd of progressive melodic death metal from Sweden um yeah, it's just a solid intro song. It gets you right into the album, and it, it hooks you in. Um, the second song off here is Gravitational Lensing. It starts with some uh, heavy chugs over an interesting, like, synth. It's, like, really, you know, again, that one sucks you in, too. Uh, the pre-chorus is catchy as hell, and um, also is the, the regular chorus. The vocals have a lot of range in here, too, and also the guitars have a lot of, a good amount of groove in some of the riffs and degent riffs in this song. I think this is prof probably the, the perfect, catchiest, prog melodic death metal song of all time um it also has a cool like melodic build up in the middle of the song but yeah this is probably yeah probably the best melodic death prog metal song i've ever heard the number two on here like that's <laughs> pretty fucking good um number three on here is uh through night um through nightling doomed gates um begins with a cool like groove riff uh then moves into some like cool like build up chug riffery and um into the chorus again the chorus is catchy and sticks the uh the gent breaks down is they're real worthy in here and the, the solo is awesome uh the song ends strong and uh the vocals at the end are like really catchy and techy like he does these weird like notes like oh that's it's pretty cool it's catchy and it's like probably hard for like most most people to do um but if you heard it you, you know what i'm talking about uh the f the fourth song on here is for eons past which is named after the album um this is just like a kind of Fast one with some chugs, groove, rock riffs. It's got a dope chorus, you know. It's like, I don't know. Like, it kind of, th this band kind of has, like, their own genre. It's, I mean, I, I, I call them progressive melodic death metal, but they just, I don't know, they just put these, like, rock parts in their stuff. It just sounds like something out of, like, the late 70s or something, like Deep Purple or, I don't know, I can't, I can't really put my finger on all of it. But, yeah. Um, the fifth song on here is uh, Lithium Tears. Straight up heavy, corchy, uh, heavy, like, catchy um ballad you know that, that hits the heart um 
You could play this one at like a wedding reception or something. It reminds me of like a good Guns N' Roses song, but way better, you know. Sorry to put it that way, but, you know, Guns N' Roses got some good hits too. Um, there's It's mostly all clean vocals, but they, I, I think, uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites on the album. It's very memorable. Like, you, you, probably, you probably like it if you're into this type of type of metal. Uh, the the sixth song on here is uh, Bladed Vaults. This is a groove, like, melodic death metal song. Uh, the chorus kind of stays with you. Uh, by the third time you listen to it, it'll be like singing the song. Like, you'll be, it'll, it'll be stuck with you. You'll be sling, singing it, like, where you're driving around. Like, oh, I remember that song. Um, there's some cool, like, headbanging bars in here. There's, like, a plethora of different vocal styles, too, by Christian. He, you know, he gets down. And there's also guest vocals by uh, uh, the guy that wrote the lyrics, uh, Michael, Michael Stain of Dark Tranquility. So he's in there, too. It's pretty cool. Uh, number seven is Wire Throne. This is the first song I, I remember listening to when I heard it. Um, when I heard of this band, because he was, this is right after he left uh, Scar Symmetry. Uh, I'll do some reviews on that band later too. But basically, he left the band, and they had to get two other singers to replace him because he was doing so many different vocal styles. But anyway, we'll get back to it later. This, yeah, number seven, Wire Throne. This is my second favorite track on the album. It has a lot of dope alterations from heaviness to clean. Um, then there's like uh, clean singing, like through like these interesting like aggressive vocals like back and forth um the song will like it'll like pump you up when you hear it too and it's it's one of those like perfect like prog melodic death metal ballads um like the palm muting the seven strings that they're playing maybe even eight strings i'm not sure over like the clean guitars and vocals it just really like comes in and hits like it's i don't know just the whole song just feels like a constant build up um it's a perfect contrast uh the way the uh the the chorus um is is sang with aggressive vocals rather than clean ones and um, the solo section is really strong. This this song sticks out on the album. You, you'll know what I mean when you hear it. Um, number eight on Embered Fields Adjust. Um, this is a, it's a catchy, heavy fucking rock vibe on a seven string or maybe eight string. That's the way this song feels. Um, and some spots it has like this rock and chorus. And uh, also again, there's guest vocals by uh, Michael Stin um, of uh, Dark Tranquility. There's some cool synths in here. And uh, there's some like badass heavy metal breakdowns and, like through like the solo section. Um, number nine, into shadow. This one's another slow heavy ballad. It's uh, yeah, it's a slow one. It's really fucking heavy. Um, the the there's some like gothic choir vocals in the background to create this like moody sections. It's, like you know, brings up some crazy emotions when you listen to it. Um, yeah, the chorus, you know, it, it gets you right right in the ticker, you know. This is one of those songs that you play to someone that you fucked over. Uh, the singing on this one is deep, catchy, and classic. Yeah, so you'll really like this one. It's got it's another one of those songs that has it all for a slow song. Uh, number ten is "Clandestiny Now." It's a you know epic prog death opus. This is the last one on the album. It's you know it's a prog you know death <laughs> opus at its finest. Um, to be blunt, it's sixteen minutes long. Um, the track takes you on a journey. Um, you know, it has, a, it has a great chorus. It's got dope vocal verses. The metal section goes into this, like, dark fantasy scape. There's breakdowns, guitar solos. Um, there's, like, uh, singing sections. The list goes on. The, the song is just epic. It's, it's one, of the, one of the best metal songs of all time. Um, it's a very memorable song. It's classic. Again, it's one of those songs that, that has everything you could possibly imagine in it. Um, this, this, this album right here... I think it's, it's just like an original piece of art. It's a modern classic. Um, I forgot what year it came out, but I think it was hands down the best fucking album of the year. Like, I listened to this thing like millions and millions of times. Yeah, barbecued many a time to this. It's 2000, damn, 2010, almost 10 years old. So yeah, I highly recommend this album. Uh, the first album by Solution 45 uh, for eons past. And I also got this here, this beer tonight. Yeah, this is... Another one is a product of Ukraine. Yeah, first private brewery. I'm really on to these ones right now. They're really good. These uh, Ukrainian beers. It's a golden ale, 5.5. Let's uh, give a tug at it. Yeah. Look at the smoke. Finish him. Wow, that's um, intriguingly smooth. 
wow, I don't know what it is with these beers I've been trying, but I've just been, every single beer I've tried on this, uh, this channel has been <laughs> fucking good. Sorry, I mean, I can't, I can't help it, but this, uh, Solution 45 debut album, this, uh, first private, um, Golden Ale by, uh, Andrew Visky, I give them both two horns up. And thanks, folks, for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check back. We have daily content. And as always, thanks for watching <laughs> Metal Movies and Brewskies, folks. Have a great night.